Hello and welcome back to Knights of Frights. My name is Kitty Scoob and we're playing Sulfide from the Shadow. This is a game I found on Itch.io. I don't know much about it. It looked pretty interesting. I've seen a few good reviews underneath it. That's all I pretty much know. Let's jump in. Find out the terrible truth that is hiding in your cousin's basement. And the events take place in 1980 in the forest of the USSR, which has what Lock and Evil Witch in her car. Okay, well, that sounds like a thing. So we're going to start with... Okay. Uh, hi. Remember our agreement? So our fan of uh, mysticism. Find out what's the matter. Why in our house there are only sounds from the basement? We moved in with relatives, so call me when you find out. I won't be in debt. Obviously not an English speaker. That's fine. Hi, brother. No problem. I'm leaving immediately. If anything, you owe me a cake. Visual hints. If you can't complete a level, then turn it on. Okay. Uh, Load checkpoint. I haven't did a checkpoint. But I don't want to skip. Load, load checkpoint? Are we just... It looks pretty. Kind of looks like we're holding our phone. Okay, this is loud. Okay, this is very loud. We're going to just turn this down a wee bit. There we go. Hello? Testing? Okay, that should be fine. Uh, so flashlight. I don't know why we would want to turn it off. Detector is Q. Do I... Okay, I, just, I guess we're just going to carry this around. Heck, she's here! Where? Also, what's up with these windows? It looks like... It's also clipping through. It looks like... Uh... Roots or something. Damn, this is a crazy fucking setup. Look at all these speakers. Although, I feel like they should have them around the room to have surround sound. Rather than just being blasted in our, your face. Can I turn the lights on? Do I want to go towards the spookiness? Oh, look! Hello? Okay, well, I'm gonna assume... Maybe I don't... Is that just a PNG or a JPEG floating around? Hi! You dead! Oh, okay, so it just goes back to the beginning. I don't know why selecting a language changes the music. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, the only settings are quality. We're gonna... <laughs> it says use light only when necessary. That really wasn't... We're gonna do this. Do we skip? Skip. I'm gonna die if skipping gives us more information than the checkpoint. <laughs> I didn't play this game before. Why was there a checkpoint that was somewhere else? Okay, so pressing skip just means start. Gotcha. Also, why is our... Why is our flashlight so dirty? 
Also, what's with this fucking crazy ass music? Like, can we turn off the surround sound? That's a lot of candles. What is this? Why is there a light on the knife? Okay. Wait, where do I put my stuff down? I'm gonna assume upstairs. What the fuck was that? Why do we start with our flashlight on? These stairs are not safe. <laughs> I don't... I'm not understanding the layout or also the scale of some of these things because this couch looks tiny. Are we just giant? Because we're almost touching the ceiling. Oh, our stuff is down. I don't know if... The, oh. Crouches. Space is like a little dance. Alright. Uh. Her stuff is down. The curse of the Egyptian pyramid. It kind of amazes me that. Oh, we just had to walk farther in. This game is in so many languages. What the fuck is that? Ah, ah, it's just a bad dream. Find the sound source. Oh my god, what are these sounds apparently coming from the basement? How do you know that? We're on the second floor. Also, those lights are still on. I don't, I don't know where the rest of the light was coming from. Probably from this one thing, but those are on. Should give it, that TV is fucking huge. That's giant bezels, but how the fuck did they get it in here? Also, these lights? Not safe. Nothing in this house is safe. <laughs> See, that couch is so fucking small that they had to get another couch to go next to it. You shouldn't... Okay. Sorry, I'm feeling very judgy, but I don't know. There seems to be a lot to judge. What? Okay, I've never had a garage. But I don't think this is how garages work. This looks like the front room or living room, however you say it. You don't just park a fucking car in the middle of it. Especially not with any fucking... With no doors. Oh, here's the basement. Okay, this house... Makes no sense. I, I looked at a few of the reviews and they were all, like, raving about this game. I feel like they were kind of embellishing it a bit. Considering I pressed a button and it threw me into the middle of the game without me ever playing it. And a fucking JPEG floating about. History of sulfides? Born on October 1, 1943. She died on July 6, 1971. Causes of death? She had multiple suicides? Results of the investigation? Was fond of black magic. Reasons for suicide. Severe depression due to her husband's infidelity gouged out her eyes and drank arsenic in large qu- she f ha what what she was buried in a crypt above wild hill candles and a knife were found at the scene of the murder i thought it was a suicide found on the blade blood you mean blood on the blade what's this stuff okay whatever a red handkerchief and a bottle of arsenic. I thought it was a suicide, not a murder. Why was there a knife? I thought she gouged out her eyes and drank arsenic, but there was a bloody knife? Okay, someone didn't do the autopsy well. Okay, we just walk away from the note. Can I turn this on? Is this the water heater? That might be the water heater. 
Looks like it said Celsius there. Why does this door have a peephole? Hello? Who y'all peeping on? Okay, that was loud and it hurt. There's a lantern. Can I pick up the lantern? It's glowy. I'd much rather have the lantern. It's pretty fucking blue lantern. I'd much rather have the lantern than the little phone flashlight. Uh. Oh, okay. I just had to be on this side. What the? Is it a coffin? Heck! I need to get out of here. Wait, I thought we were here to investigate. Why do I see my mouse? Get out of the basement. Oh my god, it's open. OMG! We gotta run. Is she chasing me? There's like whispers. So we're gonna leave the house, right? Oh, hello. Are we just gonna stand here? Ah, spooky. What the hell? Oh, now you say hell. What was that? It looked like a ghost. The ghost has no eyes, which means that this entity does not like the light. You need to remember this. I don't think that's, what? I don't see how that correlates. She ain't got no eyes. She can't fucking see the light. You feel me? If anything, she wouldn't like the sound. Because she still has ears and can hear junk. She ain't got no eyes. She can't see the light. Help. Ghosts react to light. Turn off your flashlight when it is near. Enter yourself quietly. And don't make unnecessary sounds. Wait, so it can hear? Find your bag and get your gear. Okay, so... I'm guessing... I'm guessing that... Okay, so turning off the flashlight just makes her go away. Uh, once we go upstairs, that's where the checkpoint started me at for some reason. <laughs> this house, my guy, does not make sense. My detector, it will allow you to find this creature. The camera will prove that it is really, that there is really is someone in this house. You need to install it in the crypt, at least somewhere in the corner. <laughs> okay, so I gotta go back down to the crypt. Can I just turn off the light and run? Detector is able to, okay, I, I understand. Color of the inter, okay. Okay. All right. What if I just, <gasps> heck. She's here. She's been here. We knew she was here. What is that? What is that? My flashlight's off. What? What is this? Oh. Oh. Can I turn that? Mm, I don't. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go to the menu. Because I feel like that'll just make me have to do this all over again. Oh, this is the front of the house. I have to make I have to find the garage. Okay, I won't go in there. Fine. Ma'am? Spooky lady. I need to go in here. That thing lied to me. It said don't go in there and I went in there and nothing really happened. Okay, why aren't we leaving? Also, how didn't they know there was a crypt in this house? Like, there's a door leading right to it. Oh my god. Spooky blue. Should I have this open? 
I'm assuming. There we go. What kind of a camera is this? Also, this tripod is very hefty. This looks like a film camera. Oh, there's a note. That's fun. What is that? What is this Halloween poster? It's in... Oh, they didn't translate this one. Oh, it's a Russian game. Oh, the grave digger! This is the medium Aunt Anna? As my tests show, Sulfita was an evil sorceress in her life, so I don't rule out that she may rise from the dead. She has no eyes, so bright light can cause her anger. Still don't see how that works. When entering the crypt, do not use... Uh, do not use a flashlight, if, and if suspicious sounds, do not enter the crypt in case something goes wrong, use this. Uh, ten candles spread around a coffin, knife, need your blood, apply it to the knife. What? Throw the knife in the coffin and hide in the dark corner. After her, quickly run, do not return for seven days. In her okay, so we need ten candles, a knife. Okay, ten candles and a knife. Do I have to go around and actually find these things? Can I I'm assuming I just have to walk into them to pick them up. Because there has not been a use button as of yet. Oh, I know where the candles are. I think everything's in the kitchen. See, I thought the visual cues would maybe be like a light or like a waypoint to tell me where to go next. Not a giant don't run sign. That seems to be stuck in the one room. Maybe it's also the exclamation point. Isn't that the room I have to go into? Oh. Okay, spookiness, got you. Okay, it just seems like she's everywhere. I don't know how to deal with this. Oh my god! There is more than one ghost. And all these sounds are not helpful. Alright. Toilet. Okay, we're going to grab this stuff. Turn to the coffin, follow the ritual. Uh. This way? It's on fire. Okay. Uh, did we see a fire extinguisher somewhere? Can we turn this thing on? We can throw gas. We're gonna need that gasoline at some point. It's gonna be like, hey, we gotta burn down the house. Oh, how out. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got me. That's just because she was right on my ass. Oh my god. Okay, can we... I don't understand this. It makes it look like it's a giant... <laughs> like, ghost hunting show? For beginners. Why, why would you not... Okay. Wait, I don't actually want those because they were pretty annoying. Load checkpoint! Fire extinguisher is upstairs. We're giving this one more try. 
And by one more try, I mean we're just gonna fucking run through it. <laughs> we can't just run through it. We actually have to pay attention. I'm done. I don't really care what happens. Like this title screen's kind of cool. Kinda. I don't know who this other guy is. Music's kind of neat. Uh, it's just not scary. And I don't understand the story. Like, I guess this house was built next to where she was buried, but it's also connected to where she was buried. And she's also more than one ghost. I don't know. This has been Sulfi from the Shadow. I don't really have much to say <laughs> good about this. And I don't like being negative, but yeah, I, I feel lied to. Like, the comments I seen were like, whoa, this is an amazing game. Great job. The scares were insane. And then there was just a still ghost floating through and then a JPEG in the window. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Katie Scoob. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.